Well, this is the what the aluminum looks like on the old blue Mac here. I did a little bit of sanding last week on this one, but the pits are awful deep. So I just put a, a 120 on the sander, and I'm going to work on this a little bit, see what kind of results I can get. Well, I sanded a bunch <laughs> with that, but then I switched to this 80 grit. And I tried to get down to the bottom of these pits. You can see how they're, it's really pitted there. I was trying to get to the bottom of them. Just trying some different things. We'll, uh, we'll go back to the sander and see if this buffs out. Because that's, that's 80 grit. That's at 120, I think. So I did a, a bunch more grinding with the 80 grit. Uh, definitely leaving gouges. Now I'm going to go over with the sander again. Let's see what kind of results I'm getting. So this is what it looks like after the 120 and the 80 sanding grit disc. Yep, I can talk. I, and I tried the 120 just on the sander a little bit back here just to knock off some of the oxidation. Still plenty of pitting. I think a guy's gonna have to use that sanding disc to get rid of that pitting. But I'm gonna switch to a, a finer sandpaper and see what what happens on this wheel. So I've been sanding with the 240 here. You know, what? I just did from here over with the 240. And of course, the sun is shining on this side, so it makes it look a little shinier. This side is not been done with the 240 it's still on the 120 yeah you can definitely feel this felt smooth <laughs> until I did this now this feels pretty smooth so let's look a little closer and let's go over here that's where the 240 has been done hmm definitely a difference so this is the front wheel, front drive here, getting better. I went back here and I hit this with the 240 as long as I thought the sandpaper was still good. Now I'm going to jump up to the 400, see what that does. Back side of the driver's fuel tank, driver's side fuel tank. I hit this with the sand, uh, the grinding disc sander at 80 grit and it was way too much. I had a little overspray there. So I, I just hit it with the 240 sander to try to knock that down a little bit. I'm starting to look like the tin man. So I did this side with 400. Feels pretty smooth, but definitely can still see the scratches in it. Haven't done this side yet. Doesn't look like I'm gaining a whole lot. Must be gaining something though doesn't feel a lot smoother but you can feel a little bit this is the rear wheel just went over it with 400 smells smells feels pretty smooth no I haven't been drinking <laughs> um, but the you can definitely still see the, the divots in her well, this is the front one where I had gone over it with that disc grinder, so I tried to get to the bottom of them. This feels pretty smooth too. And then I hit I hit this with the 400 also, as long as it was in it. I should have maybe touched that a little bit more, but I think I'm going to try the buffer now. It's been a little while since this buffing wheel has been used, and to freshen it up, I just run it across these steps. Yeah, no comment on, you can tell it's been a while since it's been used. But I'll just do something like that. There, cleaned it right up. So I'm using the 3M Super Duty rubbing compound. 
That's what it looks like. It's a little runny, but must not have mixed it well enough after the winter. I got a little splatter of buffing compound over there, but that's the little section I did. After just a, I don't know, minute, two minutes, it didn't take very long. Just, wow. So, untouched, fair amount of work into this one, and just about done here. I guess I could go over with a finer, like a glazing polish. So I did the other part of this wheel. I'm going to jump back to that one and see how that one turns out. So, yeah, that turned out better than where I didn't sand. And this wheel turned out fantastic. So now I'm not afraid to use that grinding disc as long as I don't go overboard. Because I think it turned out better than this wheel. Even though this wheel wasn't horrible, I've seen worse. Actually, this one was worse, and it turned out better, but there was another step involved. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing, but I never do. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.